Is it worth it to do Python certification or is it not? And why would you do that? And why would you not do that? Is it even necessary for your career as a Python beginner? Imagine if you are a Python beginner, let's say you're working as a software, like I wouldn't say a software engineer, but if you're working as an engineer or maybe in a quality assurance as a manual tester, like I used to do, I used to work as a manual tester, as an engineer, and I thought about Python, I thought about becoming a Python developer, but I didn't know if I should do a Python certification or if I should actually try to pass some exams. And I was wondering if it's gonna even do anything for my career, if I'm gonna pass this exam or this certification, if it's gonna even matter. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about this topic and I'm gonna give you answers to this question is it even worth it to do a certification like an official certification in python you can find also an article down below that i wrote about this topic is it worth it to do a python certification if you like such content leave a comment below uh, subscribe to the channel like the video maybe you can even suggest some uh, other video ideas i should do and yeah i'm gonna keep doing these videos just to share my experience. If you like it, uh, join the community by subscribing. Well, in general, yes, it's worth it, but uh, this really depends on your goals and what exactly you're trying to achieve with your career. Realize that this is just a certification. And if someone is looking for a developer, software developer who knows Python, they're actually looking not really looking at the certification, it's gonna give you some kind of benefit as a software developer, but at the end of the day, you have to know how to build software. You can learn Python, you can learn all the theory, you can practice all the exercises to pass the exam, but if you don't know how to debug real situations, how to deal with real situations where no one is going to hold your hand, and you're gonna be working under pressure sometimes if you don't know how to handle yourself how to deal with these situations uh, it's gonna be a bad time for you <laughs> as a software developer in python so i believe you should learn how to code how to build projects how to build features first before you think about any kind of exams any kind of certification because you have to realize that certification is just a paper that shows that you have some sort of experience in this, but it's not gonna really do that much for you if you don't know, or if you don't have uh, a lot of experience in building features. A lot of beginners think the certification is gonna just change their life. It's gonna just give you a free pass. If you, do, if you do the certification, they think that the companies will look at them as someone who has a lot of experience. Everyone can do a certification. Everyone can pass an exam if they practice hard enough. But the real skills come from building real projects and real features that's where the real skill comes from. You should do a Python certification at certain point in your career, if it's necessary by your company, if you feel like doing that, and if you feel like it's gonna give you some kind of benefit. This is not gonna give you a free pass to get hired as a software developer. This is not gonna solve all your problems if you don't know how to build features and you don't know how to build real projects in the first place this is not gonna solve that problem for you if you don't know how to build features if you don't know how to build projects with python uh, doing a python certification is not gonna solve your problems you need to know how to build features first before you do a python certification employers value more real world projects and features and experience that you can show in your portfolio rather than just having some kind of exam that you passed by knowing how to basically find the right answers in the exam. 
one of the main questions before you consider Python certification is about difficulty of the Python certification. Well, this depends really on um, the level you choose. Are you choosing to do a beginner certification? Are you choosing to do an advanced certification? But overall, I can give you an answer that this is just gonna, the Python certification is just going to test your knowledge about syntax of the code, how to write Python code, about common concepts. But all of these things, if you're a beginner, you should be learning by just doing stuff, just by building features and just by building real world projects. And this is something that you can do without any kind of Python certification. And I can't really stress this enough. Uh, as a beginner, you should be focusing on building real world projects and building real world features so that you can understand the process that really goes on into the companies when they are working on features and building real projects because companies they're not really going to look at your profile see that you did a python certification and tell you nice job you're hired that's not going to happen they're likely going to test you in an interview and they're going to ask you questions about uh, projects you've built, features you've built, and how did you build them. And imagine you have a Python certification as a beginner, you managed to memorize all the answers, you managed to pass the exam, you now have the certification, now you go to the company, you're trying to get hired, and let's say you even get to the interview process and someone asks you, so what projects have you built? What features have you built? How did you build them? And you don't have an answer. Well, <laughs> this is not going to end well. You're likely not going to be hired. No one ever asked me about Python certification in an interview. Uh, everyone always asked me few concepts about Python, like spe a few specific concepts about Python. For example, can you explain regex? What features have you built in your career or your, in your job? What projects have you built? Okay, we are using this technology in this company. We are using this technology in our service here and there. Do you know this technology? Have you used it before? Do you, can you explain something about this technology? These are the questions that I usually get in interviews. It's never about Python certification. It's never about any kind of exams. It's about real things that you've done in real projects in the real world. I'm willing to give you advice if you're looking for general suggestions on what to do as a aspiring Python developer, send me a message. You can find my contact details below. And yeah, we can talk about it. And maybe if I will see a potential in you, maybe I will help you to become a developer. So find my contact details below.